What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, JP. And David. Back at it again with another video. So today we have a custom um, statue from, I forgot the studio, but we'll probably figure it out towards the end after we build it together. But yeah. this is a custom Wolverine statue. So if you guys saw our Venom, our Wolf, Wolf Numb video, yeah. we'll, we'll put a card up here as well if you haven't watched it. That one's really cool too. We're really excited for this one. I'm not sure if this one will, will be a contender. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really badass, but we'll see which one we like better. I mean, uh, that's hard to beat. That Venom Wolverine yeah. one is sweet. Yeah, sweet. a lot of these, a lot of these custom ones are really great. This is the second one that we have out of ha so many that we're coming in eventually. But yeah, really excited to unbox this one and hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys at the end. Cool.
Oh, you're rolling. I thought you are going to be in here too. <laughs> like always. All right. Obviously, my claws are bigger though. Hey. <laughs> All Ooh. right. So we just finished building out the Wolverine. I forgot my studio already. I know it's LL Wolverine custom build. I think this one is one of the top contenders for uh, a Wolverine statue build. Yeah. No, uh, I think no. I, I I think it's definitely my favorite Wolverine that we've yeah. done. I don't like Wolverine guys, but that costume, as I said before, the X Force costume is. Chef's kiss, amazing. Know, right? So this one was a repainted one. This one was a really, they did a really great job because the other one looked kind of dull. Uh, but I really like the red on this one, the paint, the guts and everything. This was supposed to be silver. They repainted it black. So it just matches the color more. I, or maybe it was red. I forgot. But yeah, so a lot of this stuff, really cool. Really like the gore. Uh, <laughs> you have a freaking limb right here. Yeah. The accessory pieces, it was a pain in the ass. Yes. Uh, especially putting the, the claws in the head, but like it was worth it. Yeah, like this is not two parts. This is the claws have to go through there. So we had to like, you have to find the right claws that fit them because some are yeah. thinner than others. And then they have to hit the, fit the hand and then they fit this man. Yeah. That was a pain. Yeah, but it was, it was well worth it. So it does come with three portraits. This is my favorite one so far. I'll show you guys the other ones as well. I'll take this one off and we'll put this other one on here and hopefully I don't break it while I do it. So this one was pretty cool too. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And then we also have the screaming portrait. I think that's my favorite just because he's mad. I got arrows in my in my shoulders. Ah. Yeah. So we'll put this one in here so you guys can see it too. Um, but yeah. So the base obviously got to be a that's, 5 out of yeah. 5 for me. This yeah. is the most violent base i ever seen. <laughs> it was so violent where like David's daughter, they came in here. They were like, Put it up. I don't like it. Yeah. That's when you know it's a good well, base. they haven't. You know what? This is violent. Uh, it does remind me a lot of the um, Berserk. The mm -hmm. When he's wearing the Berserk armor with all the guys that are dead. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of that. But that, this yeah. is a lot more graphic, I think. For real. The, the pose itself, the scope and everything. I'll give it a five, too. It did a good job. This is Wolverine. Very, it fits him very well. I really like how you could put the claws through the entire head so it sticks out. Um, this one, you know, put the claws inside his head too. That was really cool. Yeah. Um, usually when you see other studios, it would like be behind him or something, but that was really cool to have they added that in. Yeah. And you can pick, you can have this pose and it goes through the head. If you have the other pose that's going through the, through the head, yeah. then they go through the actual head as well. So that's really cool. That option is, yeah. is, is great. Um, I agree. The base is a five. The base is a five. The fig, the action pose, a five as well. That's just <laughs> Wolverine doing the best that he's at. Yeah. Some other statues are, not that they're afraid to show it, but for their audience, they want to make sure it's just an action pose. These guys said, we don't give a fuck. You yeah. can see him murdering people straight yeah, exactly. up through the head. And what I like as well is like you could change this ninja's pose. Instead of his hand out there, you could just have a stump, <laughs> which was yeah. really, really neat. So yeah, yeah I think... Yeah, this is definitely my personal favorite one of all time right now. The, okay. sec the okay. second one would be the uh, Wolverine Venom one, Wolvenum, that uh, we recently unboxed as well. Uh, where would you put this in your top five so far? Ooh. Uh, or would it even be in your top five? So right now, I would still consider the Venom Wolverine one is, 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 uh, is high in there uh -huh. for sure. The the Venom pool as well. I just that yeah. statue to me is so impressive. So yeah, that's definitely my top three. Uh, right now with the Batman Sanity did go up in there. It yeah. took out it took out the Justice League. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then I think I have that one Attack on Titans just because it was the first one we did and it was just like yeah. that one still is impressive to me. Yeah, Attack on Titans is the first one. It still has a good place in our heart. We'll never sell it, but it's really cool. And you know what? <laughs> Surprisingly, the Phoenix Force. Uh -huh. uh, the Phoenix, Phoenix one to yeah. me, just that base itself. I every time yeah. I was like, "Wow, That's wow, really great. that was That's really cool." Piece. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the only thing, this is this is just me. This is the only thing. So looking at the finish, I, you said this was a custom paint right yeah. job. Um, you can. The only thing that I do not like about this is so you know Wolverine is hairy. Of course, he's like a wild person. So they instead of like. You could have put in the brushes for the hair. They kind of did like just like a like a spray. You see it for the yeah, dark. Yeah. So I feel like that is a miss on it because mm -hmm. I don't want to. I don't. You know, maybe they were trying to save time, but I think they could have just drawn the hairs in and it would look a little bit more realistic. Mm -hmm. And it's only that part that shows his arm. It's only like right here. Yeah. So it's a little bit. Um, but that's just me. So uh, that drops maybe half a point in the finish. It's still only a, a 4.5. Everything yeah. else is great. The costume looks good. Mm -hmm. The blood and everything. 
his face, it lo- all looks good. It's just that little detail outside, and I'm yeah. like, oh, they didn't. They just uh, hit it with a with a spray brush instead of actually brushing it. But the rest of it is great. The everything works together to make Wolverine look uh, like a badass, and I think it really pays off. Awesome. I would get the bo- unboxing experience <laughs> zero out of five, though. Zero. <laughs> zero. It was, it was very very rough. To yeah. take all these pieces out and everything, it was all in one big layer. So that was, it was—it's just very complicated. I don't even look forward to putting this thing back up. I know, yeah. Uh, but we have to. <laughs> but yeah, let us know what you guys think about this one. Which one's your favorite one? Um, do you think which statue of X twenty three would you think would go really well with this one? Also, That's let true. us know about that one because we are looking to an X twenty three one. So yeah, definitely let us know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one.